Welcome to Smart Cinema Graphics, my name is George. In this video, I'll show you how to create a gradient background, something that you can see on your screen right now. There are different ways of creating a gradient background, and in this tutorial, I'll show you one specific way that I consider one of the easiest and simplest way to do this. So without further talking, let's start creating this from the beginning. Create a new composition, let's name it this BG. Click OK. Once we're inside here, we need to create a new solid. So right click, new solid. We can name it this gradient. Click OK. Then let's bring up mask and shape path visibility. Select the gradient. Drag on any point. Make sure you hold shift while doing so and increase the size to something like this. And further zoom out. Select the gradient then select the pen tool. And just draw a mask like this. Don't have to be super precise, just a mask like that. Then press F to bring out the mask feather and increase this all the way to something like 300. Then let's select a gradient and let's add fill to this. Quick fill. Let's leave the color as red because it's a vivid color. And well, I personally like it to use red color in my background. You can use any color that you like. Then let's add another effect called turbulent displace and here you set the size to 350 then go to evolution and alt click the stopwatch and time and type time times 100 then click away and this will give it a nice looping animation and you can see that there's a lot of black space visible in here so select your Gradient and you can press P for position and actually bring this up like that. To preview this now, this is better. I could still see that, but that's not a problem at all. So then select the background uh, gradient, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and let's change its color to something like, um, like blue. Why not? Click OK. Press P for position and bring this down to to the point that we can see our red uh, color like that then select the gradient press ctrl d to duplicate it again set the different color something like well green why not press p for position bring this down again so we can see the blue in between then select uh, the gradient again press ctrl d duplicate it again and let's set the different color, something like, well, let's go with orange. Press P for position, bring this down to something like this. Let's actually duplicate the first gradient, and place it underneath this. And let's set a different color for this, something that, let's, let's go with pink, why not? Press P for position and bring this up to the point that we, we no longer see those black spaces and yeah you can see right now that our animation is looping or our background is looping but if you notice that all of the layers are looping in the same way in the same manner and we don't want that we want some variation so now what we are going to do is we will go ahead and select the first grade or actually no select the second gradient from the uh, bottom go to turbulent displace uh, properties bring down the evolution options. And when it, here when it says random seed, just set this to something that is different from the previous one. So say 1000, click OK. And select the next one. Bring down the, the evolution options. Set the random seed to say 2000. And then the next one. And you get the idea, just carry on doing this for now increasing and setting the different seed for every consequent layer this will be four thousand and that should do it like if we preview this right now you'll see that we have a lot of variation going on and they even overlap in some places and overall that creates a nice effect in my opinion and it looks cool so at this point you can go ahead and add a new uh, adjustment layer and let's add noise to this adjustment layer and check use color noise and set noise to something like three 
This will make it like more cinematic, if you will. And also one important tip, you see how it says 16 bits here for the color depth. Make sure you set it to 16 bits because if it's at 8 bits, you'll see a lot of color distortions going on. So make sure you alt click this and set it to 16 bits. It will improve the quality and make it super, super nice. If we preview this right now, you can see that our background is looping and everything's working as supposed to. This wraps up our tutorial. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.